Hello everyone, and today we're talking about uh, PageRank. So PageRank was uh, one of the first algorithms uh, invented by Google uh, back in the days when it was founded. It got its name by one of the co-founders, Larry Page. And it's very powerful because uh, basically every other algorithm built after that was built based on the, the PageRank. So the PageRank is like the ground base for every other algorithms uh, that came after that. Uh, keep in mind that today Google uses over 250 factors to determine and to rank the pages uh, in, in general. Uh, we're going to take a basic overview. I have prepared a whiteboard here with a drawing to try to give you a simple overview. Uh, keep in mind that page rank is much more complicated than what I'm going to show you today because it involves a lot of formula and algebra, which we're not going to we're not going so deep into the concept, I just want to give you a basic overview so you understand how it works, which is important for the, the whole understanding of the SEO. And uh, I'm going to explain one of its basic principles, and that is link building, okay? Uh, the important to know also is that PageRank is built on a scale from 1 to 10, with the 10 being the best possible uh, score for your website. And before we start with the whiteboard and drawing, I just want to uh, explain you in three actions how uh, search works. So you have three actions, crawling, indexing, and ranking. Okay, crawling is the first action where uh, Google releases a bunch of little robots called crawlers or spiders, and they go from the website to website with different links, they connect to different websites, and they gather data. In the indexing second action, they org store and organize that data, and finally, in the ranking process, they decide which website which data they're going to show you. So they rank them based uh, on, on the relevance. And that is the most important part. So now we're going to take a look at the drawing that I have prepared to give you a basic overview of the page rank. So here I prepared a drawing uh, like uh, we can imagine this as a, as a web and it has five websites, okay? And you can see the A, B, C, D and E. And here you can see little arrows which actually represent links and those links actually decide and point to certain websites so you can see here that uh, website a points to the website d website c and website b then you can see that website b returns one uh, one link to the website a which might be for google suspicious but uh, we're going to take a look at that after that might be a black hat seo technique uh, for now we're taking a look uh, further on B points uh, to C also, so from the Google perspective, let's say that they started their, their crawling process here from, from the A website, they have seen that there's one link to the website D, one to the website C, and one to the website B. And then from the website B, they saw that there's also one link to the website C, and one back to the website A. So, so far they see that there are two links pointing to the website C, which tells them that there, there might be something interesting or relevant to the website C. Let's go to the website E. It points back to the website B and again to the website C. So now Google can conclude that website C is very, very good, very authoritative because it has three websites pointing to it. Okay. Also website B has two links pointing and website E doesn't have any links. Uh, same goes for actually go, uh, website A has one link. And when we come to the website D, we can see that it has one link from the website C, and if you recall, it has one uh, link from the website uh, A. That tells us that although it has only two links, one of the links comes from the website C, which is very important in this situation because that website is very authoritative. So as Google sees it, so it's not just about uh, the quantity of links, because it, if the whole algorithm was just about the quantity and number of links, there, then there could be a lot of, uh, you know, like, um, bad things that other websites would do, those black hat SEO techniques, where people would be making deals of pointing to other links, or people would be making fake domains and just pointing to certain websites. And that's not what Google wants. They don't want just quantity, they want quality, and they want it even more than quantity. So for them, although website B and website D have uh, both the same number of links too, the website D has the number, uh, it has one link from the website C, which before that had three links, and that is what counts, okay? So in terms of search, 
The least relevant here would be the website E because it doesn't have any links point to it, okay? The website A would be the next one because it only has one link pointing to, to, uh, to a certain, uh, one link pointing to it and it has three links pointing to other websites, okay? Then there would be website B because although it has, as we explained, two links as website D, the, those links are coming from A and E which are not so relevant as it is the case with the website C. And then, depending, so although the website C has more links, we said that website D got its link from the very authority website. So whether Google would rank this D website or C as the first one depends. That's the thing I told you. They take more things into the consideration, not just the number of links and quality of links. They take even other factors, keywords and so on. We're going to take a look at that. So. From this drawing, I just want to point out and, and to, to say how important having links pointing to you and also you having link pointing to other. And that's actually how uh, PageRank works. So imagine this principle on billion of, billions of websites. And that's what actually uh, web and Google search, that's how Google search engine works. So you type something and based on their crawling process and indexing they make, they rank different web uh, websites based on their relevance to your query.